Welcome to Grey Propaganda, where we discuss the lies, falsehoods, and politics of the mainstream media. As always, I will cut through the propaganda and summarize the news for you. Today we have an article from NBC. After false pet claims, Springfield Mayor says Trump visit would be an extreme strain on resources. By Zoe Richards. They write, the Ohio City has responded to dozens of bomb threats that have led to closures and evacuations of schools and city buildings. In this interview with NBC, the Springfield mayor pretty much says, do not come here, don't prank call us, leave us alone, we're fine. Which is understandable. Everyone would hate outsiders coming into their town and causing a ruckus for something you may not even believe in. But the issue here is we believe in this problem. 20,000 Haitian immigrants in a town that doesn't even have 60,000 citizens is a huge problem and something that can happen anywhere. Why wouldn't you want to know more about the pros and cons of undertaking such a migration of any populace when it could happen to your town? So let's dive into the video before reviewing the article. Ohio's Republican Governor Mike DeWine has deployed 36 state troopers to schools in the town of Springfield after bomb threats at schools, city hall, and hospitals, following the viral false stories about the town's Haitian immigrants. Authorities report at least 33 bomb threats since Donald Trump, J.D. Vance, and others have repeated that baseless conspiracy, adding fuel to it about Haitian immigrants supposedly stealing and eating people's pets, completely false. All of those bomb threats turned out to be hoaxes. Joining us now is the Republican mayor of Springfield, Ohio, Bob Rue. Mr. Mayor, you've been going through a lot, a lot of stress on the system. Uh, we thank you for taking time to be with us. Um, these false rumors that have besieged your city, what is the result of it? How are you responding? Well, obviously, with great concern. Uh, thank you for having me on. Um, I just want to say that it's uh, it's been difficult. Our, com our community is obviously very concerned about uh, uh, the threats that we've received. I want to uh, just thank Governor Mike DeWine in the state of Ohio for stepping up and, and helping us. Uh, one of his goals, and I want to echo that, was to bring life as much as normal, uh, bring normal normalcy back in today. And that's why we have the troops that have been sent here to secure our school buildings. See, originally, uh, uh, Governor DeWine was helping us with our reckless operation and, and helping safe our, have our roads safer because of we've seen a little bit of an uptick in uh, reckless operation. And troops are not being sent to Springfield, but now they're being sent to straight Springfield, not because of the immigrants that are here, but because of the threats we received from now, the bomb threats. What is your message to Republican leaders, including the standard bearers for your party? who keep insisting, J.D. Vance on all the networks on Sunday, insisting that it's accurate, that he's heard the 9-11 calls. Well, let me just say that I am I am elected as a nonpartisan mayor in the city of Springfield, and my goal is to represent the entire community. But my, my, my simple message, and I've said this before, is uh, if you have the national stage and you're a national politician, please understand the words that you're saying have great weight and how they can negatively affect a community like Springfield, Ohio. We just ask that it would it would quiet down. We need we need help, not hate. We need peace. These immigrants, there are reportedly 15, 20,000 Haitians who were invited because a workforce was needed and because they could get less expensive housing and, and the standard of living. Um, so these are legal immigrants, but it has, according to a lot of people who've also been interviewed, it has impacted the infrastructure and the, the support yeah. systems there. You're dealing with this as any community of 75,000, 78,000 perhaps would, Mayor Rue? Yeah, so to a point of correction, they were not invited by the city of Springfield. Uh, this was not a program that we were involved with by any means. This was, uh, the immigrants have come here under uh, obviously the current administration's uh, immigration policy. And so uh, that's that's what has happened. And then uh, the strain on our infrastructure has been very real. And we've been, as a community, trying to put our arms around this and, and manage the community to the best of our ability. Let me clarify that then, because there's been a lot of misreporting on that front. Um, so this is a Biden administration immigration program. So they are permitted to come in legally. And how did they wind up in Springfield? 
word of mouth? You know, I, I think that there's uh, I, there's probably there's most definitely been some organic growth. Uh, you know, in the last three years, we've seen this increase influx. I think there was jobs to fill in the area. Uh, I would believe that there would be agencies that would be more involved with filling those jobs and would have more information for you than I would. But uh, I'm sure there was a coordinated effort to bring uh, new workers into our community. And then from that, uh, there's been additional word of mouth and, and organic growth from that as well. How are they being protected? Because some of them say that they feel threatened. Are there any threats against individuals that has uh, involved your police force? Well, as far as uh, the threats have come in, they've been, you could pretty much blanket across any of the leaders, myself, my family, other the commission leaders, and as well as the many, many school, uh, buildings that have been threatened. Each one is taken seriously, and we've had to take uh, precautions to make sure that our community is secure. Uh, again, the state of Ohio has deployed many resources uh, into our community, including uh, crowd cameras and things like that, so we can monitor key strategic locations. You know, today, 6 a.m. in the morning, the state of Ohio had troopers at every school building in Springfield, along with uh, bomb dogs, to make sure the school was swept and safe so kids could return to school. And uh, the, yeah, the governor has been very supportive of you and of the community, with Spring Springfield being thrust into this spotlight. You had the Proud Boys this weekend. Um, what kind of effect did that have on the people of the community? Any anytime there is a group that comes in that uh, wants to bring unrest instead of peace is a concern and it disrupts the community. Uh, no matter if it's 12 or uh, 200, it's disruptive. And our goal is to, uh, you know, make sure that, that folks are safe when response like that happens in our community. And what would you like the, your senator, the Republican presidential candidate to know about Springfield, Ohio. What would you like all of us to know about your, your town? Springfield is a beautiful city. It still is today a beautiful city. We are a city that is uh, has been faced with uh, an increase in, in, in migrants, and we want migrants, and we want to make sure that we're wrapping our arms around the situation. This wasn't something we brought upon ourselves. Um, and we want to make sure that uh, the world knows that your pets are safe for here. And I know that sounds silly, but also the fact that this is a wonderful community with wonderful people in it. And we work together to collaboratively to solve problems. And we are resolute and we will come out of this strong. Well, we wish you all the best, Mayor Rob Rue of Springfield, Ohio, you and your community. Thank you very much. So most of the article uh, reviews uh, what you just saw in the interview. Uh, the article ends with a few paragraphs here stating uh, Ohio Senator J.D. Vance and Republican, uh, the Republican VP nominee who has also spread the false claims about pets in Springfield told reporters on Tuesday that he hasn't made plans to visit the city. Asked on Tuesday whether he would be joining the former president on the trip or if he had his own travel plans, Vance said the trip has not been formalized, but safety would be a top concern. Uh, yeah, that's our understatement. Uh, I haven't made plans to go just uh, in the last few days, Vance said. I know the president would like to go, but also hasn't made any explicit plans. The article ends with. So I definitely think they are going to wait for this to... Um, uh, calm down a little bit, uh, especially with the recent assassination attempts. Um, it doesn't seem wise to do a trip like this, uh, but I, I would not be surprised whatsoever if you saw a visit to Springfield before November 5th, uh, just to top, uh, talk about illegal immigration, which is the biggest issue, not only in Springfield, not only in Ohio, but all of the United States. Thanks for listening. Catch you next time.